Yo guys, <laughs> welcome to another daily vlog. Today, we're gonna talk about weight loss. I just feel like after the holidays and shit and just in general, people are really interested. And so honestly, if anyone's struggling to lose weight or just like, I just feel like you always wanna turn to cardio to lose weight and it's just what it's just like the knowledge that like most people have that cardio just helps you lose weight and I just want to show you different ways and like more effective ways and give you just a little bit more kind of education on weight loss and like proper ways to lose weight and things that you can do that are super easy or they might just fit in your schedule like we can talk a little bit about diet and stuff so if that interests you stay if it doesn't you should stay anyways like comment subscribe and um yeah we're just having our pre tell me what kind of pre you guys like i was trying some of the ghost ones I really like the tropical mango. That one's bomb. Yeah. Peep the new design also. And obviously we're training glutes today. Let's go into the gym, guys. Almost forgot about the most important three. Um, edibles. Okay, I'll see you guys in the gym. Yo, guys, so <laughs> it has been like an hour and a half since I last talked to you. We have been to two gyms, both of them were crazy busy, and we finally found a gym to film in. Um, obviously, it is January 6th, everyone has their New Year goals, which is why we're doing the weight loss video. We just want to help you guys meet all those goals, so we're going to do some legs. Um, I don't know what I'm going to start with, but we'll see. And finally, we have a gym to film in. <laughs> yeah, do you want to see the cute puppy? <laughs> Come see. <laughs> Hi. This is, is it Atlas? <laughs> oh, what a cute dog. <laughs> okay, so this gym is called the Pump Republic. They're actually a new like private gym in Calgary. Um, super cool. Honestly, the owners are awesome. Um, and the equipment's just really, it's clean, it's aesthetic, it looks great in videos. And yeah, the trainers here are fucking bomb. I feel like I know most of them. But yeah, the crew is just like, you know, when you're just with people that just vibe, that's what it feels like, which is really nice. So let's get this vlog going guys finally <laughs> yeah let's hit glutes um yeah what are we gonna start with well there's a hip thrust thing so i feel like we have to start with that where should we change it up working on your squats. i am working on my squats we could go squat first i don't know we'll see <laughs> stay tuned so we're starting with um rdls i well, I was going to do hip thrust, but we're feeling RDLs today. What were we talking about weight loss? Okay, this is crazy, but strength training for weight loss, you guys, is bomb. It is like you should have a mix of strength training and cardio in your gym schedule, not just cardio. Lifting weights, okay, if you think about it. So when you're building muscle, muscle burns more than fat does. So if you have more muscle, that's burning more calories so you can eat more and still lose weight. Yeah, let's do some RDLs. <laughs> Thank you. 
If you like my shorts, they're coming out soon, you guys. Um, who doesn't want pink shorts? It's like a real Barbie vibe, you know? I love RDLs, you guys. <laughs> Top five exercises. Guys, we are on our last set of RDLs. I just wanted to say, what did I want to say? What was I going to say? Oh, diet. Let's talk about diet for a second because I love nutrition. Like nutrition is my vibe. Um, eat more protein. Most people don't eat enough protein. When you make a meal, okay, say you have like chicken and you have like I'm not gonna say rice because everyone needs rice. Chicken, pasta, and like veggies or something. Eat the chicken first because you wanna get as much protein as you can um, and then eat the rest. So yeah, protein, 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 you guys. Let's do this. Okay, next up we have Bulgarian split squats. I actually had um, a girl comment on one of my videos a little while ago and just said that my range of motion was like nothing compared to what she's doing. And okay, so my range of motion for um, Bulgarians is definitely a lot less than what you'd usually see like online and stuff. But the only reason for that is because that makes the glute focus. So you want to stay within the range of motion of your glutes. You see that my RDLs are not like crazy far down because we're trying to keep the tension on our glutes. So the same thing with Bulgarians, you want to keep that tension. And if you're going too low, you're going to be hitting your quads. <laughs> and I'm not a quad girly, so we're not doing that. Um, yeah, let's do some. I don't believe it. I'm thinking that we don't believe it. Okay, um, let's talk about cardio for a second because everyone loves to do so much cardio. Um, you should try to do cardio definitely after your lift. So what you wanna do is do like maybe five minutes of like some sort of warm up, um, and then get into your like lifting, like obviously hip thrusts, RDLs, all that kind of stuff. And then after that, if you still have energy, do something like a 20 minute incline walk or stairs or whatever, because that's gonna make sure that you're using all of your energy towards your lifts. And then the rest of it is just put towards cardio so that it's not like you're exhausted before your lifts and then all of a sudden you can't lift anything, you know? So save it for after, um, but don't, don't be like excessive about it. Like you don't have to do two hours of cardio to lose weight. <laughs> if anything, that's just gonna like hinder your success, you guys. So yeah. Oh, rest days, you could do cardio on rest days. Um, like I like to do active rest days personally, just because it like helps my mental health and it like gets me moving and keeps my like endorphins going. So like I would do like 20 minute walks or like even like a 10 minute walk, you guys, you don't know how much of a difference that makes. Like some people walk for like 10 minutes even like three times a week and they're like, oh my God, I'm losing weight. And it's like, it's just because you need to like get your body moving, you know? Um, but yeah, rest days is cool to do cardio.
let's talk about what did we just talked about cardio you know what really helps when you're trying to lose weight is not trying to lose weight which sounds crazy but if you focus on actually getting stronger and like progressing in your lifts the weight loss just kind of comes with it like i'm gonna sit <laughs> yeah like focus on increasing your lifts with keeping your form obviously but just yeah that muscle will replace all of basically well it's called body recomposition when your muscle replaces your fat so like you're gonna step on the scale and you might even weigh more but your body's gonna look better because you're gonna have like muscle and tone and <sighs> yeah all that good stuff do you guys like this logo though let me know what you think i think it's bomb okay so <laughs> guys we i just automatically crouch every time i'm going to take a video i don't know why we are going to do goblet squats to lunges this is one of my favorite movements just for like quads and glutes mostly quads if you're okay you do want to get your heart rate up a little bit when you're doing like weight training but honestly guys like when you're pushing a lot of weight and stuff like it's not going to feel like cardio like when you're doing cardio and you're running and stuff your heart rate is going to be like a lot you're going to be breathing heavy like whatever sometimes you can get that after lifts but honestly like if you're lifting heavy enough it just should be hard at the last two or three reps um yeah does that make any sense just don't make it feel like crazy cardio just because you want to lose weight like you don't have to do a crazy amount of cardio to lose weight your lifts can just feel not easy but like you know you don't have to be crazy out of breath every single lift so yeah this love is ill i wish that it was different don't know what it is that made us so indifferent we're drifting in the dark can we do I usually do kickbacks right now but the gym is working on getting a cable machine cable thing so I can't do that yet so I'm a little bit lost <laughs> but it's coming and I'm excited <laughs> so I can teach all you guys how to do kickbacks so instead we're going to do what are we gonna do I don't know what are we gonna do oh we could do hip abductions maybe I should add those into my routine who knows Let's go do those. <laughs> so guys, we are finishing with um, hip abductions. I don't know, I did this with you guys the last time that I was here and it's just like, when you're at the end of your workout, you wanna do stuff that's like accessory stuff so it's not quite compound lifts. If you don't know what a compound lift is, it's when you're using more than one muscle. So anything like hip thrusts, deadlifts, squats, RDLs, that kind of stuff. Um, but this is just like completely targeting your glutes like you're not really holding up a bar with like your upper body or anything so you're just isolating one muscle rather than like using like 10 different things in one lift <laughs> tough luck babe struck out when you have about 30 chances one bad day now you don't know how to pay for the damage i don't wanna climb if i'm gonna fall back it's a waste of time how the hell do you make it look so easy? I'm spinning and I can't 
can't seem to get back on my feet and I am like I already told them about the logo. You weren't involved. <laughs> we left him out of it, you guys. It was our secret. <laughs> Okay, so when you guys are like trying to get into the gym and stuff, I, well, I listened to this podcast where this guy was talking about um, when people work, like say you're in an office and you're next to someone that's high performing, you automatically work like 10 times harder. It's just like the domino effect. So like when you're working beside someone that doesn't work that hard, like you don't work as hard. So when you're going into the gym, like find someone that works fucking hard <laughs> and then you're gonna work 10 times harder because it's just like when you surround yourself with like better people um you automatically become a better person just because you're around that all the time so like even when i was getting into fitness i joined all the like fitness groups i joined like followed all the fitness creators and stuff just because then it seems more normal and you like want to do it all the time so yeah so if you want to join a cool Facebook group with like all these girls motivating, it's a safe space. I kick out all the girls that are like rude and whatever. Like it's so motivating you guys. Join the Facebook group. It's Lifted Lifting Besties on Facebook. It's a vibe. It is such a vibe. You guys like probably one of the best Facebook groups because fitness is already so like vulnerable, especially for women. So having a group where girls only support you like yo it's so cool <laughs> yeah join it oh there's 35,000 girls in it <laughs> I started a year ago it's crazy <laughs> Okay guys, that is the workout. Um, I'm gonna stretch and we're gonna go home and eat something together. Then we're gonna talk more about nutrition if you're trying to lose weight. So I'll see you guys at home. <laughs> Bye guys. So I've just finished um, filming some TikToks. This is what's happening right now. James is getting a, some editing. This looks like a little webinar that's happening behind me. <laughs> like how cool Bye. welcome back to the kitchen guys uh, we are gonna make a high protein obviously high protein we always make high protein shit high protein stir fry kind of I'm just gonna kind of wing it uh, but I want to make the tofu like crispy tofu which if you haven't tried tofu try this recipe because I feel like adding a crisp on the outside of the tofu makes it kind of better. I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's do it. We got these cute bowls, let me show you. So mom got me and James these cute bowls. <laughs> um, and they come with chopsticks. And I was like, guys, we have to film with these bowls. Like they're so cute. Uh, so that's, so we're making like an Asian style dish for the cute little bowls that we have. Yeah, thanks mom. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. So wait, I'll tell you what we have. 
So we have an onion, um, pepper, mushroom, just some veggies, you guys. You want some veggies in your stir fry. Some of these noodles, rice noodles, and tofu for protein. Should I make two tofus? I'll make two tofus, just in case. Always make leftovers, you guys. Always, always, always. Let's do it. Um, guys, I'm going to basically coat this with a little sauce. Lime juice though, when you're um, cooking tofu, lime juice, any sort of like vinegar or whatever, makes your tofu like absorb the flavor better. So like lime, lemon, um, any sort of vinegar, put that on your tofu first. Sriracha for some spice. And then we have this naked and saucy organic teriyaki sesame ginger sauce. Wow, that's a lot to say. This though is organic, it's vegan, and honestly, if you wanna make cooking easier for yourself, just get stuff like this. Like get like easy sauces that you can just throw on your protein or whatever. Just make sure that it's not too full of like sugars and stuff. For sugar, this one, there's two grams of sugar in one tablespoon, which is actually really good. Like, let's compare it to barbecue sauce, guys. <laughs> barbecue sauce is the worst. So, where's sugar? Two tablespoons is 11 grams of sugar in here. So two tablespoons is four grams of sugar in this. So that's pretty good. Like, honestly, yeah, just watch your sugars in your sauces and fats. A lot of times um, sauces will have like really high fats, but if you're not using too much, you guys like everything in moderation. I, do I look out for zero calorie sauces? Sometimes. I'm not like crazy big on sauces, but for example, like if we get ketchup, we'll get like the no sugar added ketchup. It's like stuff that you can just change. So if you have normal ketchup at home, just switch to the no sugar ketchup. It honestly, you guys, it makes a huge difference. Or like if you're eating a lot of, what do people eat, like ranch dip? Try to, okay, try to cut down or just try to substitute it sometimes. Like I just feel like sometimes people will get salads thinking that they're really healthy, but then they just load on the fat. And if you're not, um, like, yeah, you just need to like control the fat aspect of things, you guys, <laughs> a little bit sometimes. Do sauces help with fat loss? Sauces, well, yeah, like sauces are definitely a wasted calorie, I would say. Um, there's a lot of sauces that you can have that like are lower calorie, but honestly, guys, like add avocado to stuff, it's a healthy fat. And it's just like, if you add avocado to like your salads or something or make like some sort of avocado dressing, maybe we should try that. We should do that. Um, but if you do that, then it's like you're ha you have healthy fats, but you're not like overdoing it usually. So just, yeah, I would definitely say watch your sauces if you're trying to lose weight. Just like keep in mind and just like, um, like put your attention onto like what kind of sauces you're using, what's in them. I'm not saying cut out sauces completely, but definitely just like be more aware of it. That's what I was trying to say. Be more aware of the sauces that you are um, using when you're trying to lose weight because it can make a huge difference and you don't even know it. It's like people, okay, so I know I'm like ranting so much right now. So people sometimes will take out the cream in their coffee and all of a sudden they'll start losing weight. It's like, the little things that you can change in your diet make like the biggest difference, you guys. Yeah, we're adding cornstarch now. <laughs> um, then, nutritional yeast, as always. I feel like this shirt is such a dress on me, and <laughs> it's kind of a vibe. <laughs> Another thing, let's talk about oils. Um, 
try to get extra virgin oils. So anything with like vegetable oil or like canola oil or something, I find that, not that I find that, I feel like they're very, very processed. Like these are like almost like organic oils. Think of them like that, like avocado oil. A lot of people have that. Um, it's honestly just easier for your body to digest. I feel like vegetable oil is really like fake and like, I find now because I haven't really, I don't eat it a lot. Like when it's in chips and stuff, like it upsets my stomach so much, you guys. That's why a lot of like the organic popcorns and stuff, they're made with like coconut oil or um, even like olive oil or avocado oil. It's just like better healthy fats, you know? I love broccoli so much. It's my favorite thing ever. It's actually really good to have vegetables with your protein because sometimes, and I feel like girls will really relate to this, sometimes when you have protein, especially like protein shakes, you can feel bloated or it just upsets your stomach. Having vegetables or like fruit with it, some sort of like fiber helps with that. So make sure that you have like some sort of micronutrients like vegetables or fruit um, with your protein that you're having. Honestly, it helps so much you guys. Ready. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Done. <laughs> uh? <laughs> Done. Mm. They're perfect. I'm gonna put some sesame oil on the noodles just so they don't like stick together. I can't get one off. Oh, that is so hot. Mm. Bomb. I'm just going to top both of them with some soy sauce because I feel like the noodles, oh my god, really didn't have much on it. I'm excited. Should we try some? Wait, no, you want to make it pretty first. <laughs> we'll give you the good angles, you guys. Okay guys, let's try it. I, You guys have no idea how hungry I am right now. And this looks so bomb. Okay, we kind of already tried the tofu together. So, oops. <laughs> so I'm just gonna like dig for some fucking noodles. 
and these veggies look bomb. What a mess. Yum. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. Oh. Stupid. It's so good. One thing I just want to end on. Guys, if we can make this meal. Vlog, edit, we trained. Like, we even trained, we even vlogged the training. Yeah, we videoed the training. Um, if we can do that, you guys can make a healthy meal. Like at least one, you know? Just try it. Also, I just wanted to say that like, this is like a completely balanced meal, you guys. We've got the protein, we have the carbs, we have the healthy fats, and we also have the micronutrients. So, vibe. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Thanks for training with me. Thanks for eating with me. I will see you guys at the next vlog. Love you guys. Yeah. <laughs>